I think research takes a school forward because it enables people who came into teaching, who are passionate about teaching, to have the space and time to think about how they can improve their practice. Which, although it sounds obvious that that's what we should be doing all the time, somehow in big schools it gets overlooked and people just get wrapped up in the day to day. This encourages people to take a step back, remind themselves why they're a teacher and really aim to improve their practice. Yeah, so my uh, research title was Can Christian Values Be Taught Through Sport? I um, worked with a group called Christians in Sport and I brought them in, we did some workshops, team building activities and the main aim was trying to bring to life the uh, Christian values that the school has, so things like perseverance, honesty, self-control. So we played all sorts of sports games, um, had debates, uh, with the, a group of year seven students, many of you had behaviour issues um, but who were particularly involved with the football team and the idea was, as I say, just to bring to life these, um, these values um, and just to get them to understand it so they could then apply it in the classroom, hopefully work on um, improving behaviour in other lessons um, and yeah, and it was really successful. Um, yeah. After Christian and Sports came in, um, we learned that you should use perseverance, honesty and teamwork in sports because it makes the game fair, um, it makes it more fun as well. For the Christian in sports, it really helped me to do follow the the school values and understand it better. Because before that, I didn't really know; it was just there. I didn't really look at it. But after the Christian in sport, they told me hope, love, and trust. You need to love people, have hope for other people, and trust other people. So it made me really focus in class and think about more the values when I'm when I, if I'm doing about to do something bad, I stop for a minute and think about the three values. So um, I was the Academy's first literacy coordinator last year. We hadn't had one before. So my main aim throughout the year was to get literacy on all teachers' agendas. And I did that in two main ways. So firstly, I launched a whole school literacy marking policy, which asked all teachers, not just English teachers, to really encourage high level written work through identifying errors in students' writing and asking them to take an active role in correcting it. Um, and then the second thing I did was I launched a weekly literacy focus, which saw teachers across the whole academy teaching things like how to use a semicolon or how you learn to spell EI or IE spellings and lots and lots of different things, how to use homophones accurately in your writing. Um, and so what I did as my practitioner research is I looked at assessing the sort of um, positives of those two initiatives and looked at how successful they'd been um, and I did that in a couple of ways. I did a few learning walks where I dropped in on lessons and I watched volunteer teachers teaching the literacy focus. Um, I interviewed lots of students and asked them how they thought literacy had changed at the academy in the last year um, and then we also did a, um, a marking scrutiny where we looked at the quality of teachers marking and a main focus was looking at um, them using the literacy marking policy and looking at how how successfully they were differentiating it for diff students of different levels and also how to what extent students were actively involved in the process of correcting their writing. The idea is that it's not just top down but it's a rolling thing where we skill up one department and then another department can skill up another department and that's a really creative way of thinking about not having enough time to do staff tra whole staff training and actually different departments working with each other. I wanted to find out what motivated learners in year nine because it really frustrated me that some learners in my classroom were sitting there quite passively not learning so I triangulated my research and the findings that I found were that really impacted my practice a lot. I found that in religious education when you give student a roll card it, it motivates them to contribute because they can do it from a safe position that also en encourages students to question each other. Uh, People-led learning strategies like student envoys, secret envelopes with uh, tasks for them to do and really motivate students. When you give students a say in their learning it motivates them to want to contribute to the lesson they had a say in and the power of collaboration has really enhanced my practice and I'd truly encourage anyone to partake in it as a result. On a personal level out of the research I, I'm filled with a greater sense of autonomy, professionalism and um, I've been able to find what works well in my classroom and pass that on to my department and I feel like I've got a really effective department now because of what I've done. So I'd really encourage anyone to do it who wants to develop their practice. I'd recommend practitioner research for every school. Um, this is the first school I've seen it really take off at a whole school level. I've seen individuals before benefit from it. But I think here you can actually point to examples 
of things that are affecting all the children that would not have happened unless there was um, it came out in the practitioner research program. And I think also it can be life changing for the person involved. I know at least one member of staff here who is now a member of the senior team who came to the school never expecting to be essentially a deputy head of a comprehensive school and now is and it's changed her life and the thing that changed it was going on a piece of practice doing doing um, some practitioner research abroad for a week and it just transformed her life well i think st mark's is probably um, just happened to pick it uh, pick, pick practitioner research as a strategy that just seems to fit i think there is something about matching it with a strong sense of values it seems to me it's something good if you say to staff, if you come and work at St Mark's, we will trust you to take your own practice forward and encourage you to actively research your own practice. I think that attracts some people who perhaps think, oh, that sounds interesting.